What's up everybody? Alright, in my quest to collect all the My Hero Academia figures from Tereba, we got another one for you. New setup, haven't played before this one, and ended up getting a good win. It's a Kirishima figure, so let's take a look at the plays now. Okay, here's a typical setup you see in Tereba all the time. You got two sticky bars, and you got a prize that's in a box in between the bars. What you gotta look for right here is the shovels, guys. You gotta notice those shovels are flat. They have no curve, no little hook to them at all. They are just going to be able to stab only, or maybe pull the corner, but not in this game. That's not what you're going to do in this game. People are going to waste a lot of plays. They're going to bait people for going for the corners right here that are connected to the red bar, and in the back and the white bar, there's another corner. So they're going to try to sweep those, and it's not going to work. The play here is going to be to stab. Yes, guys, stab it right on the top of that point, the highest point in the box that you're trying to go for. So what we're going to look for is a few things. We're going to look for movement of the point of that box, and we're going to look for where we're going to have to stab it. So pretty much we're going to stab on that point. We're not going to stab on the face that we can see of the figure. We're going to want to stab on the left side face that we can't see. So almost on that back side. Near the point though, we definitely need to go near that point to stab. So that's what we're going to start with. I did see a few people play this setup before and this specific figure. They had stabbed it a few times. Actually, they had pulled over the side of it and got it to move like that. They really didn't know the trick of stabbing near that point. So that's what I'm going to do. My very first play, I know I'm going to go for the stab. I had seen a few people before me win it exactly like this. So that's what I'm going to do right here. Hopefully I went far enough right and then I'm going to stab with that right claw near the point right there. Beautiful stab. So that's what we're going to do. After every play, we're going to check if we did any progress. So we're going to see the beginning shot of this play. All right, you know what? I think it moved back. I honestly think that it moved back after the stab. So we're going to check it right here. We're going to do that two ways. This point of the box and the box in the back with that red bar. So we're going to check the progress of the point by seeing the before shot and the after shot. Before and after. Before, after. Yeah, it did. It moved back, guys. That first play wasn't great. So we're going to hope for a better stab, honestly, or just more progress than that one because that was not great. Second play, missed. My first miss. All right. That was a wasted play. That's a good waste of two bucks. Even though it hit it, even though it brought it over like that, that's not the way to progress this. You need that stab to slightly slide the back of the point off of the back bar. We're going to go again. Third play, right claw stab every time. I am not trying to pick up that right side of the box like I did. That is what I want to do. Beautiful stabs every time will get you some progress like that. Yes. Look at that progress, guys. Oh, yeah. Before and after shot, decent amount. A couple, maybe one inch. I'm not going to get crazy. Maybe an inch of progress, but an inch more than it had before. And you could definitely see the box is laying down a little bit more. Going to go the same technique. Hopefully, I don't go over too far right. I don't think I did on this play. I know I had wasted maybe one or two plays right there. Not so much of a waste. I think it did do a little bit of progress, but I didn't hit that back slope of the box, the side that we can't see. There it is. And a little bit of progress on that play. Even though it wasn't a true stab where I wanted it, still got a little bit of progress. Not doing bad so far. Every single play, even the ones that I didn't stab perfectly, we've had some progress on. So we're just going to hope that point is where I'm going to hit every single time. And I know it's not easy like that play. That is a pretty good miss right there. We're not even going to check the before and after on that one because we can see it is in the exact same spot. So three plays. I could have maybe saved three plays on this. A total of six or seven plays to get it in the prize shoot. Could have saved maybe two of them by stabbing perfectly every single time. Let's go right here. Right claw stab. There it is. That is going to be some progress, guys. Oh, yeah, you could tell. There's more shake, there's more movement on the box, and it's definitely laying down more than it was the previous couple plays because I definitely missed it. Before and afters, there we go. And we can see that huge jump, probably the best jump yet. So it's getting close. I know it. I know I just got to do the exact same movements that I was before. It's muscle memory, really. And there it is. That looks beautiful. Right claw stab. And a little bit of pressure, too. That's what it took. Watch it. 
when it stabs the box all the way down, it does not fall. It does not fall until the pressure of the claw closing pushes it down that last little bit that it needed. Off the back edge, perfect. That's the edge that's going to do it. You don't go for the front. You don't try to rake over the edges. You stab the tip of the box on this one, guys. Yeah, a lot of these games, guys, you got to use that stab technique. Not much of the rake, especially on those games that you see the shovels, that they're really straight. You're not going to be able to rake that much, and you're not going to get a lift from the box, so you're going to have to do some sort of a stab. Got this really cool Kirishima figure. That's another one to add to the list. I'm almost done collecting the My Hero Academia figures from Tereba. Got a few more. Check the eBay store if you want to see this dude in there. And I got a bunch of the other My Hero Academia figures. Big shout out to the supporter who got that Deku from my eBay store. That was another Tereba win, guys. Put it up and it sold in a few hours. So huge shout out to that supporter. And if you want to help support the channel by buying some of the prizes, check in the description for the link to the eBay. If you enjoyed this one, give it a like and a comment. If you haven't done it already, subscribe to the channel. Have a wonderful day and be well. Peace.